I was getting ready to go out and film. Uh, it's like cloudy and rainy. I don't feel comfortable taking that out in this. Anyways, roll the intro. Too. Yeah, I got Starbucks. So one thing I learned about I'm gonna go this way. One thing I learned about St. Louis while I was here is that not many people live in downtown. It's just kind of a work area, which is kind of kind of cool. So um, I'm gonna go and probably do some like photos and stuff just for fun. Um, Cause if you didn't know, well, I'll I'll describe it in a second here. All right, so here's the like the free production tip of the day. So since around here there's not a lot of people, um, and a lot of by the way, if you film like in New York City or you do photos in like New York City, um, people really bring dynamic to those photos and or video, so it really brings up the production value. If you don't have that. I'm gonna take a picture here, but if you don't have that, um, water, and it's very simple. Water really brings up production value. It makes it look, it brings dynamic to the photo and or video. All right, this is kind of a cool shot, so I'm gonna take this. Oh, what the fuck? I, uh, I was kneeling down to take this photo, and it was this really cool, like, reflective photo right by this puddle. And I'm like off on the side of the road enough. This dude comes, literally drives into the puddle, splashes me and the camera. What the fuck? All right, I'm trying to find my way back to my hotel. Just had some lunch watching a movie and I looked outside. The sun's out. Awesome, so I'm gonna get the red go outside and take some shots for the uh, for this documentary. I was gonna wait for tomorrow, but it's it's actually nice out. Also, I'm sorry if there's little like spots on the lens from this, m anyways. the hotel room finished uh, filming kind of around here for the day I'm gonna go out to the um to this for the lighting I'm gonna go out to the zoo right now I haven't been to a zoo in I don't know how I've just haven't been to a zoo in years and I heard the zoo here is kind of cool I'm gonna go out to the zoo all right here's the zoo in three two one all right cool made it to the zoo do I have to get tickets or something Oh, let me find out. All right, St. Louis, you're doing it right, making a zoo free. That's awesome. Best, best thing to do right now. It's awesome. I haven't been to a zoo in so in years. I'm assuming this way. Yep, there's a gorilla or an eight. Gorilla or eight? I don't know. I actually have no clue what the difference is. I think they're about the same, right? I know it's your turn again. Look how big that thing is. I think he's chilling.
That gorilla reminds me of those like old dudes in the south who just sit on that porch. Oh, that's the other one. Look at it. Oh. Shit, that scared me. Look at that. See it right there? Alright, ready? Check out this time lapse. The first ever time lapse in this vlog with giraffes. Ready? here for my uber I do have to say that was the one of the best zoos I've ever been to I haven't been to one in years but that was a really good zoo first off it was free it was really easy to navigate in and out and around just an awesome zoo st. Louis great job with your zoo This is me attempting to get a bird scooter here. Uh, this is, let's see how easy it is. Alrighty, I am launching the app right now. Alright, I just launched the app. I'll turn on the location, whatever, while using the app. Alright, I'm gonna go to ride. Alright, let's go, ride. I ditched the scooter. It's kind of cool though. All right, I'm gonna go try to take some time lapses with the arch. The sun is perfect right now. taking that time lapse that you just saw and I was like a guy came up and he was like talking asking me about the camera which, which I get a lot uh, asked me about the camera and it's like oh what type of camera is that what do you do and basically I was describing how I run um, Labyrinth 35x which is you know the parent company that I run day to day um, do I talk about that enough by the way anyways um, and it was so funny so he was like He's like, oh, that's so cool. Um, yeah, she just came up from Orlando. And I'm like, oh, that's so funny. My, you know, our company's based, and I live in Orlando. And he goes, well, park. And I told him Winter Park. And then he told me where he works, which is in Winter Park, which is a, uh, a technical college down there. And I know exactly where it is, because you know where I go to Whole Foods down there? Right next door to Whole Foods. And I'm like, that's so funny. We started talking for like 20 minutes. Um, and, you know, he said something very interesting, which is, it took us to go all the way to St. Louis. Whoa, the wind. It took us all the way from St. Louis for us to meet each other. So, you know, I'm, that's, it's just networking, guys. Networking. Never say no to a networking opportunity. They, uh, they have lime here, like lime bike. Ryan and I were gonna go line biking at like midnight. Uh, 
Ryan, you still owe me a line bike at midnight. When, when you get back from the cruise, though. <sighs> well, tonight I went out for a little bit of a, a scooter ride. Just didn't, only brought the phone, didn't bring the camera, didn't do any work. Just get in my own head for a little bit. It was nice. Um, finished up some work. I'm watching some, one of my favorite YouTubers, Peter McKinnon. Learning a little bit from him about, well, learning a little bit from him. Um, so I'm going to end the episode here. Tomorrow is, I'm actually going to like specific locations with that. Like, prop, like, okay, lo like real locations. Um, today we're just kind of finding some stuff. Tomorrow is like I have a plan. Um, and then the following day is, I'm really excited about, can't give much away about that. But I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. And y y you know, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. You and me, we could kick it all weekend. Maybe no sleep. Speak about whatever till the sun was in the sky. Swimming naked in the ocean while the sky was falling open. Hoping you would fuck me on the beach on my back seat. Listening to rap, so fancy. And every time you'd leave.